Sutra, vast knowledge of all dharmas, skillful ability to speak dharma, purification of undiscriminating wisdom, non-defilement of all worldly dharmas, purification of world transcending good truths, obtaining inconceivable state of wisdom, obtaining all wisdom and entry to states of wisdom. They also wish to bring about obtaining of Bodhisattva's ten grounds from beginning to end, and the curate speaking of the distinctive characteristics of the Bodhisattva's ten grounds. Commentary, vast knowledge of all dharmas means being able to deeply enter the sutra's door and have wisdom like the sea. The Buddha Dharma is like the great sea. It is necessary to have vast, great wisdom in order to know all dharmas. But just knowing is not enough. One must also have skillful ability to speak dharma. You must be good at employing clever expedient methods to speak all dharmas and have the purification of undiscriminating wisdom. You require the four wisdom. The wisdom that accomplishes what is done. The wisdom of wonderful contemplation, the wisdom of sameness, the great perfect mirror wisdom. Then, right within non discrimination, you will be able to understand all pure, wonderful dharmas, non defilement of all worldly dharmas, defied worldly dharmas need only be turned around to become undefined, world transcending dharmas. It is also to bring about the purification of world transcending good rules, obtaining all world transcending dharmas. You can cultivate world transcending good rules and attain to purify, purify as well as obtaining inconceivable state of wisdom and obtaining all wisdom and entry to states of wisdom. Upon obtaining all wisdom, one is able to enter the states of wisdom. They also wish to bring about obtaining of Bodhisattva's ten grounds from beginning to end. This is to bring about understanding of and certification to the progressive states of the grounds of a Bodhisattva from the first to the tenth. Those of the first ground do not understand the state of those of the second ground, and those of the tenth ground do not understand the state of those of equal enlightenment. So in cultivation, each person has his or her own skill and his or her own states, which differ from those of others. And the ten grounds have a progression from beginning to end, from the first ground to the tenth ground. An accurate speaking of the distinctive characteristics of the Bodhisattva's ten grounds means accurately explaining different characteristics of the Bodhisattva's ten grounds. People who cultivate the way should recognize the states. The Buddhas wish the Bodhisattvas to thoroughly understand the states of the ten grounds and to accurately explain the different characteristics of the ten grounds. Sutra following and being mindful of all Buddha's dharmas, cultivating, studying, and discriminating non-outflowing dharmas, cleverly adorning through the light of great wisdom, of skillful selection and contemplation, skillful entering the door of decisive wisdom, according to dwelling places, manifesting in sequence and speaking without fear, obtaining the light of unobstructed eloquence, dwelling on the ground of great eloquence, and having skillful decisiveness, being so mindful of the bodhisattvas that one never forgets them, maturing all the realms of living beings, being able purposefully to go to all places and be sure to be enlightened. Commentary, following and being mindful of all Buddha's dramas. Following means single-mindedly adapting to according with and being mindful of all the dharmas spoken by the Buddhas, cultivating, studying, and discriminating non-outflowing dharmas. One should clearly understand what has outflows and what has no outflows, as well as to what extent their outflowing dharmas present with non-outflowing dharmas and to extent their non-outflowing dharmas present with outflowing dharmas. 
That means on the one hand, cultivating and on the and on the other hand, studying and discriminating what are dramas without flows and what are dramas without our flows. Cleverly adorning through the light of great wisdom and skillful selection and contemplation, one who is good at employing the selective dharma eye can contemplate all the dharmas of great wisdom. When one has great wisdom, then one can have great wisdom light, and then one is able to cleverly and expediently to adorn all Buddha lands. Skillful answering the draw of decisive wisdom, one is also able to be very exact and clear about discriminating, to enter the door of all wisdom and to have no doubts. According to dwelt places, manifesting in sequence and speaking without fear, in a course with where bodhisattvas are dwelling, in a clear and orderly fashion, they speak the precise meaning of the dramas and have no fear, obtaining the light of unobstructed eloquence, the light of wisdom, reveals itself in an impeded eloquence, dwelling on the ground of great eloquence and having skillful decisiveness. One has great eloquence and one applies it to all dharmas, being so mindful of the bodhisattvas that one never forgets them. They always remember all bodhisattvas, maturing all the realms of living beings. One is able to bring all living beings to maturity, that is, to cause those who have not yet planted gurus to plant them, to cause already planted gurus to grow, to cause gurus that have already grown to come to maturity, to cause those who, whose, root, whose roots have already matured to obtain liberation. Being able permissively to go to all places and be sure to be enlightened, they visit all assemblies in the Buddhimandas of all Buddhas of the three pillars of time and upon arriving there are certain to become enlightened and to obtain great wisdom, great eloquence, long life and happiness. They are certified as being enlightened to the real mark of all dharmas. Sutra, good man, you should eloquently Discuss these distinctions of drama doors and good and clever methods, which is to say, receiving the Buddha's spiritual power to be aided by the first common light of wisdom, to purify one's own good roots, to universally purify the drama realms, to completely gather in living beings, to deeply enter the drama body and the wisdom body, to receive all Buddha's anointment. Of, uh, of one's crown, to obtain the tallest, largest body in all worlds, to transcend all worldly ways, to purify world transcending gurus, to perfect the wisdom of all wisdom. Commentary When Vara Treasury Bodhisattva entered the Great Wisdom Light Samadhi, all the Buddhas of the Ten Divisions praised him and said to him, Good man, you should eloquently discuss these distinctions of Dharma doors and good and clever methods. They told him, you should use your unobstructed eloquence to explain, uh, explain the various aspects of the great wisdom light samadhi and of expedient skillful methods, which is to say, receiving the Buddha's spiritual power you are based in great spiritual power of all Buddha of the Ten Duration, as well as that of Varokana Buddha and Shakyami Buddha. To be aided by the first common light of wisdom, the light of the Buddhas will come to your assistance. To purify one's own good rules of body, to universally purify the Dharma realms with your light of wisdom, to completely gather in living beings, your wisdom will gather in and receive all living beings, as well as to deeply enter the Dharma body and the wisdom body, to receive all Buddha's anointment of one's crown. All the Buddhas of the Ten Divisions and the Three Buddhas of Time will come and give you a prediction and wrap your crown to aid you. 
So obtain the tallest, largest body, you know, walls. You will gain the world's greatest wisdom and the tallest drama body. To transcend all worldly ways, you will be able to excel in all mundane drama doors and and paths. To purify world, transcending gurus of body, and to perfect the wisdom of all wisdom. You will perfect the ground of all wisdom, and then enable all living beings to obtain the wisdom among wisdoms. Sutra. At that time, the Buddhas of the ten directions bestowed upon Varacharya Bodhisattva a peerless body, bestowed an abstracted eloquence of delight in speech, bestowed skillfully discriminating pure wisdom, bestowed. The power of good memory and non-forgetfulness, bestowed skillfully decisive wisdom of understanding, bestowed the wisdom to reach all places and become enlightened, bestowed the power of ease in accomplishing the way, bestowed the thirst comers fearlessnesses, bestowed those of all wisdoms wisdom of eloquence to contemplate and discriminating all dharma doors. Bestowed all thus commands perfected, superior, wonderful adornments of body, speech, and mind, and why? Because upon attaining this samadhi, the drama is that way. Because of the arisal from past vows, because of profound thought being well purified, because of the will of wisdom being well purified, because of ease of the way being well accumulated. Because of what one does being well cultivate, uh, cultivated, because of mindfulness of one as a limit this dharma vessel, because of knowledge that one has pure faith and understanding, because of flawless maintaining and upholding being obtained, because of skillful application of the seal of wisdom of the dharma realm. Commentary. At that time, the Buddhas of the ten directions bestowed upon Varacharya Bodhisattva a peerless body. They aided Varacharya Bodhisattva in obtaining a body whose radiance could not be obscured, and bestowed an obstructed eloquence of delight in speech. Also, a great compassion, giving him the perfect refused. And an abstracted eloquence, they bestowed skillfully discriminating pure wisdom, and bestowed the power of good memory and non-forgetfulness upon Vara Chaturi Bodhisattva. They bestowed skillfully decisive wisdom of understanding. They bestowed the wisdom to reach all places and become enlightened. They also gave Vara Chaturi Bodhisattva their aid and bestowed the power of ease. In accomplishing the way, the power of free and easy success on the path, and they bestowed the thirst comers fearlessnesses, and bestowed those of all wisdoms wisdom of eloquence to contemplate, and discriminate all drama doors, and they bestowed all thirst comers Buddhas perfected, superior, wonderful adornments of body, speech, and mind, the perfection of limitless adornments, and why. Why was that? Because upon obtaining this samadhi, when one attains to the great wisdom light samadhi, the drama is that way. A necessary corollary of this drama is that it has to be that way. It is also because of the arisal from past vows. That is, this kind of drama comes into being through the vows of. The Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the ten directions. It is also because of profound thought being well purified, because Varacharya Bodhisattva was good at purifying deep thought, and because of the will of wisdom being well purified, and because of it of the way being well accumulated. Furthermore, it is because of what one does being well cultivated, bring those dharma doors. That one should to to uh, to accomplishment. It is because of mindfulness of one as a limitless dharma vessel. The Buddhas of the ten directions are aware that Varacharya Bodhisattva can act as a vessel for limitlessly many dharmas. 
because of knowledge that one has pure faith and understanding. They know that he is someone who has accomplished faith and understanding. It is also because of flaw there is maintaining and upholding being obtained, and because of skillful application of the seal of wisdom of the Dharma real, from being skilled at employing the jeweled seal of the Dharma real to seal and certify all Dharmas. Sutra. At that time, all the Buddhas of the ten directions extended their right hands and rubbed Varachatri Bodhisattva on the crown. After they had rubbed his crown, Varachatri Bodhisattva arose from Samadhi and told all the assembly of Bodhisattvas, disciples of the Buddha, all Bodhisattvas' vows are well decided. They are unadulterated, imperceptible, vast and great, like the Dharma realm ultimately like empty space, exhausting the boundaries of the future. His bodhisattvas pervade all, all Buddha lands and rescue and protect all living beings. They are protected by Buddhas. They enter the grounds of wisdom of all Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present. Disciples of the Buddha what are the grounds of wisdom of the Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas? Disciples of the Buddha, the grounds of wisdom of the Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas are of ten kinds, which all Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present have spoken, who spoken, and are speaking. I also speak them thus. Commentary at that time, after the Buddhas of the ten directions had praised Vara Treasury Bodhisattva, all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions, the Buddhas from above, below, east, west, south, and north, the six directions, with the addition of the four intermediate points making ten directions, all extended their right hands. Each Buddha extended his right hand and rubbed Vada Treasury Bodhisattva on the crown. After they had rubbed his crown, Vara Treasury Bodhisattva arose from Samadhi and told all the assembly of Bodhisattvas, disciples of the Buddha, all Bodhisattvas' vows are well decided. He told them that all the great vows made by all Bodhisattvas are decisive. They are unadulterated. They have no admixture and are imperceptible. The vows made by Bodhisattvas cannot be seen and yet they are vast and great like the Dharma realm, ultimately like empty space. At their ultimate point, they are like emptiness. You cannot find their limits. Exhausting the boundaries of the future, they pervade all Buddha lands. The Bodhisattvas go to the countries of all Buddhas and rescue and protect all living beings. They have the ability to save all beings. They are protected by Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time, they enter the grounds of wisdom and of all Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present. The Bodhisattvas are certified as having entered the grounds of wisdom of all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time. Disciples of the Buddha, what are the grounds of wisdom of the Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas, who cultivate and accumulate various kinds of good rules? and the grounds of wisdom of all Bodhisattvas and Buddhas. What are they? Disciples of the Buddha, the grounds of wisdom, wisdom of the Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas are of ten kinds. The great Bodhisattvas who cultivate the conduct of Bodhisattvas have ten grounds of wisdom. If spoken in even further detail, there are limitless and boundlessly many kinds, which all Buddhas of the past the future and the present have spoken, will speak, and are speaking. The Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present have spoken, will in the future speak, and right now are speaking them. I also speak them thus. I too, just like the Buddhas of the past, the future, and the present, will speak the ten kinds of grounds of wisdom of the Bodhisattvas. Sutra what are the ten? One, the ground of happiness. Two, the ground of living filth. Three, the ground of emitting light. 
four the graft of blazing wisdom five the graft of invincibility six the graft of manifestation seven the graft of traveling far eight the graft of immovability nine the graft of good wisdom ten the graft of the dharma cloud disciples of the buddha these ten grounds have been explained will be explained and are being explained by all buddhas of the three periods of time disciples of the buddha I have not seen any first come ones in any buddha lands who do not speak these ten grounds why and why they are the bodhisattvas masapas most super real path to body they are also dogs of pure drama light namely the detailed explanation of all bodhisattvas grounds disciples of the buddha this place is inconceivable namely the wisdom accordingly certified to to by bodhisattvas namely the wisdom accordingly certified to by bodhisattvas at that time after vara treasury bodhisattva had finished speaking the names of the ten grounds he remained silent and did not further distinguish them thereupon all the assembly of bodhisattvas upon hearing the names of the bodhisattvas ten grounds but not hearing their explanation all looked up in thirst and had this thought what is the cause and what is the reason that vara treasury bodhisattva only speaks the name of the bodhisattvas ten grounds yet does not explain them moon of liberation bodhisattva knowing what was being thought by all those in the great assembly used verses to question vara treasury bodhisattva saying why say that the pure enlightened one replete with mindfulness wisdom and virtue speaks of the superior wondrous grounds yet with power to do so still does not explain them commentary what are the ten what are the ten grounds called their names are as follows one the ground of happiness upon arriving at this ground one is very happy so the ground of living fields but the second ground all filth of false thinking is cut off that is all filth delusions thought delusions and delusions like dust and sand three the ground of emitting light but the third ground one eliminates all the dust fatigue of false thinking and the light of one's own original wisdom manifests for the ground of blazing wisdom at the fourth ground not only does one emit light but one even blazes with the flame light of wisdom five the ground of invincibility it is hard to cultivate to this position it is not at all easy to attain to this ground six the ground of manifestation but this ground all wisdom manifests seven the ground of traveling far at the seventh ground one can fly and do transformations eight the ground of immovability of the eighth ground without moving from the buddhi manda one travels progressively throughout the ten directions nine the ground of good wisdom upon arriving at this ground one has the best wisdoms ten the ground of the dharma cloud the dharma cloud universally shapes all living beings Disciples of the Buddha, Vara Treasury again calls out, All of you disciples of the Buddha, these ten grounds have been explained, will be explained, will be explained and are being explained by all Buddhas of the three periods of time. The name of the Bodhisattva's ten grounds has already been spoken by all future Buddhas and are now being spoken by the Buddhas of the present. Disciples of the Buddha, I have not seen any first come ones in any Buddha lands who do not speak these ten grounds.